So that's a technically good one, but well, otherwise you can tell you. But he was a missionary to China and spent his entire life in China. Well, one of the stories that he told was he was on a river, and oftentimes he would travel up and down this river and share the gospel at the nearby fishing towns. So he was on a boat heading to a fishing town, and he was sharing the gospel with this guy who was named Peter. And Peter's like, wow, this is really interesting. I'd love to hear more, but I know you're getting off to this next town, and we're about to get there, so I'll let you go and start preparing your things, but then I'll go out into town with you and hear what you have to say. And maybe then I'll ask Jesus to save you from my sins. And that's the like, this is awesome, he's so close. And so he goes and he starts preparing all this stuff, but then he hears a splash. And he runs back to where Peter was, and Peter's gone, and no one knows where Peter went. And so they realize Peter fell into the water. Now Peter can't swim, and the water's really muddy, so they can't see Peter in the water. So Hudson Taylor dives into the water and starts searching around for Peter. But of course he's wearing lots of clothes, so he's not even floating either. He's sinking to the bottom of the river. And Hudson Taylor can't find him anywhere. So he realizes, though, once he's about to think that Peter's completely gone and hopeless, he realizes that there's these fishermen just nearby, and they have these nets that scoop along the bottom of the river floor. So he's not perfect. They could take their nets, scoop along, and pull up my friend within seconds. So he yells out to them. He's like, quick, quick, come save my friend. He's drowning right now. And they're like, no, we're busy fishing. And he's like, no, you didn't hear me. Right? My friend is drowning right now. And they're like, well... We're fishing. We're busy right now. We can't help you. And he's like, my friend's drowning. Like, I'll pay you. And they're like, okay, how much will you pay us? And he's like, I don't know. I'll give you whatever I have. And like, well, that's not enough. And he's like, well, I have $12. They're like, nope, still not enough. And he's like, well, how much do you want to come and save my friend? And they're like, finally they work out a deal. And they come to rescue Hudson Taylor's friend. But by the time they were able to pull him up, they had spent so long negotiating that his friend had drowned, and there was no hope of him. And Hudson Taylor was so mad that these fishermen didn't come right away and help him save his friend. Well, God started speaking to Hudson Taylor through this story, and Hudson Taylor actually traveled all around the world sharing this story. And he told churches all around the world that this story is still happening to this day. Because there are people around the world who are dying every second without ever getting a chance to hear the gospel. Every second. And what are we doing to help these people come to know Jesus? Nothing. Oftentimes it's nothing. So as a Timothy, he challenged churches. And he would go to churches and he would ask them, well, he would tell them, what's keeping you from reaching these people around the world who have never heard the gospel before? What's keeping you from going and reaching these people? Is it... Money? It doesn't pay enough money to go and reach these people? Are we maybe too consumed pursuing our own passions and dreams? Are we too busy working? Is it maybe too uncomfortable to go and rescue these people? Is it just too far away? Whatever it is, these are all excuses. And when people are dying and being separated from God for eternity, it's our responsibility as Christians who have this gospel message to go and reach these people around the world, right? Because how many of you chose to be born here in the U.S.? None of you. What if you were one of these people born in India and never got a chance to hear the gospel? You could have been born there. You had no choice. Somehow you got lucky enough to be born here, but you could have been born there. And if you were born there and never had the opportunity to hear the gospel, what would you want people here in the U.S., people like you, to do? What would you want us to do? Hey guys, I'm Philip Wilder. I post videos to encourage believers and challenge believers to adventurous and Christ-filled lives through wild steps of faith. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you click the like and subscribe button, and also please hit the bell button so you can be notified when I post future videos. Thank you so much for watching.